Hey guys, what's going on? Joe Nardella here. As we gear up for the NLL season and, you know, kind of chomping at the bit to get playing again, um, with the season pushed back to April, I thought it'd be cool to share just some of the stuff that's in my box gear bag because it's a little bit different than the field game and a lot of the kids that I coach and work with only play field lacrosse. So, obviously the helmets are much different. We actually have warrior helmets. It's like the hockey helmet. I actually love these things. You know, the Black Wolves do it up with some pretty sweet but subtle decals. I think one thing a lot of my Canadian te teammates talk about is the chin strap dangle. Definitely not advised if you're trying to be safe because you can get hit in the face with your cage, but certainly a lot more comfortable, especially when you're coming off to grab water with the quick shifts. So for starters, we got our helmet. These things are literally the biggest lifesaver bicep pads. A lot of field players won't see these, but what you do is I'll actually put these on and then you tape them down with electric tape because when I play defense, we're battling inside all game off ball. And one thing that guys are constantly trying to do is cross check. So to avoid getting cross checked and not being able to grab your stick or feel your arms, um, these bicep pads are huge. I think Under Armour does a great job with these. Next, Probably shouldn't be wearing these. Um, good thing I don't get in fights and my jersey doesn't get pulled off, but I wear my STX Surgeon shoulder pads. Shoulder pads in box, also a must. Um, no sense taking any unnecessary hits, especially when you're playing every single week. Now my attackman out there will know what this is for. Rib pads. Again, with all the cross checks and offensive guys being taught to literally hunt your back and try to cross check you in the back because that's how you get the most separation for pick play. I got my STX rib pads. These things are lifesavers and save me from breaking ribs basically every game. Um, next, something I didn't use, kind of funny, growing up playing and not even in college as a cup. When I started playing box, I learned after my first day of training camp, um, number one, guys are blocking a lot more shots. You're expected to block a lot more shots and your head's spinning a lot when you're on defense off ball. So you never know if that ball's bouncing off the boards, bouncing off the pipe, bouncing off another guy. And the last place you want to get hit um, was in the family, uh, family spot. So I'm definitely wearing that every game and I actually wear it now in field because I realize how stupid I've been for not wearing it. What I got this yellow jersey, we're gonna give Boston Box League a shout out where I started kind of playing box across for any guys in Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, New Hampshire. Awesome league, they taught me a lot about the game. Play for Bullseye, two time defending champs. Let's go. Couple final items, I got some much bigger arm pads. Again, STX only for me, the Surgeon 700s, these things are great. Um, good thing I don't get in fights, like I said, cause I'd probably get in trouble for wearing them. But I use just the caps for field. I wouldn't even dare to think about just using caps for box, given how much contact there is. Next, I got my custom mouth guards, also important. Like I said, I wear my cage a little bit looser. So getting hit in the face is probably gonna happen. But since I have these, I can, uh, the mouth guards, I can keep my teeth in place and also talk and communicate on defense while I'm out there. And then lastly, we got our Under Armour gloves. I think these things definitely could be a little more protective, but super flexible, really easy to move, and I felt great facing off with them. They do get a little bit beat up here on the pinky, which hurts my hand because I'm punching Moto Grip, but that's something you got to deal with as a face-off guy. And then lastly, I got a couple softballs. My sticks are always getting pinched. I'm a guy who likes to use the stick I face off with when I play, so that it's always consistent. I string all my sticks for box the same, um, and they're strung basically like this one is, although this is an STX, Dual reflex and you can't use STX in the NLL. I got like a mid to high pocket. The ball doesn't move around too much. Mid to high pocket for when I scoop those ground balls in traffic, I can power cradle and get away. But I also have a nice quick snappy release for shooting and passing. And for me, I'm much more of a feeder than a scorer in the box game because a lot of times I'm transitioning the ball from defense to offense. So I think having a ball or a stick where I can get the ball out as quick as possible is really important. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If there's any other videos you'd like to see us do, we're going to start shooting some more stuff. Let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you soon. Cool. One